How to get not only open and close from a height, but get all the half open, three quarter open in between as well, and set those movements like towards your needs. Hi, I'm Toby from ableandraw.com, and I quickly want to show you how you can optimize your pedal position when using um, triggering sounds in Ableton Live via your electronic drum pad, via an SPDS Pro, or via other electronic drum gear. Okay, so first of all, you need to check what values your uh, pedal is sending. Usually the general MIDI standard uh, is that this is sending on number four. So I have um, the pop-up MIDI monitor here where which we could use to check um, here. Zap, I want this one. Let's fold this one down here. I want to check which CC values I'm sending here on which number and I can see it's actually CC number four. So I just need to place this on a MIDI track. I need to make sure that I route my MIDI in here. So for example, I'm using the SPD SX Pro. Now want to set the monitor to in or to auto and switch on the arming to have the MIDI coming through and now you can see I'm getting those different values here and per default I'm getting 0 up to 90 from the NSS SX Pro pedal um, plugged into and a pedal plugged into an SX Pro. Now I got it. So um, you can change this up to 127 if you want to and you should do this if you're really playing like um, sounds like uh, drum VSTs which so should sound a bit nicer. You get just get a bigger scale. But it's a good example to show you how you can quickly set this up and change this. Maybe um, your pedal or your drum module is not capable of sending the full range properly and you might want to um, add this and change this. So let us quickly do this. It's with this Max for Live device here which you can place in front of a drum rack in Ableton Live and you can see the pedal position um, is being displayed here and you can see it's expecting the full range of 127 but I'm only getting up to 90 here. So what I need to do is I need to press it full and I want to set this value here. I just can press set now while it's close and it's detecting the value it was getting at this point here. Same would work for an open position if your um, cursor, if the cursor would be here while this is open, you want to change this value to um, the open here. So obviously this is getting a zero and a 90 and we can see now it's going over the full range here now. Okay, so one important thing in Ableton Live, um, to be able to have not only two samples closed and open being playing, but the full range in between, we need to use um, some kits which are part of the session drums collection here. So uh, the standard kits in the library won't work with this, but as soon as you get the session kits, they have a few kits in there. I haven't checked all of them, but for example, the kit ambient loud loud punch here. If we have a look on the Hyatt Open here, the Hyatt Open is sending different samples depending on the height position. And that's if your Hyatt pedal is sending CC4, because we can have a look here. Um, we have all those different samples here and they are all applied via uh, different velocities, but um, they have a sample selection up here as well, which you can actually change via this parameter here. So as um, I can do it this way, Yes, so um, if the sample selection, and let's uh, make this maybe small, make this, uh, sorry, make this large, make this medium. There we go. Okay, medium. So we can see the full range here. So actually we have um, sample selection via velocity values here. So that makes sense for having a nice dynamic sound and um, samples sounding nice as well. And we have a selection via um, open and close. And this is, for example, mapped to this um, macro dial here. And depending on the position, it's playing 
closed or open or in between um, sections here of triggering those different recorded samples here. So this is the Ableton sampler and this can host quite a lot of samples here and this way it makes it um, makes a good job in making the sound natural. Or oh, um, at least it's 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 the best uh, option you get uh, with the packed Ableton Live stuff. Okay, so the MIDI section below here is really important because we could say, well, actually the foot could tr control, and we can see this here is this is always CC number four. It is getting those um, values here, and this is connected to the sample selector here. So this way, um, this movement of the macro below here is now done via the Hyatt foot pedal um, in the background. Okay, so what do we need to do? We need to fold this down a little and make some space here because now we're actually focusing again on the MIDI messages we are getting here. So first of all, it's open and when I close it, slowly open it. Maybe let's do it the other way around so you can see that a little bit better. Closed, a little bit open, more open and fully open. Okay, so and obviously a um, choke group here as well. If I send in a MIDI note number 44 to um, stop all the ringing sounds here as well. So now let's say I want this whole um, movement, like where the pedal should, which tr which which um, pedal position should trigger, uh, define which um, openness here. So I feel a little bit like this is um, this is opening too early. So I actually want um, less opening here so I could go into this curve pedal adjust here and press the alt key um, option on Mac and I could actually do a little curve here and just say well actually I want this to start and to go uh, closed a bit later so now the values I'm sending out here are going close a little bit later. So the other way around, if I'm playing now, yeah, you get the idea. So you can actually apply this curve here to the way you need it and you like it to. Uh, you can even move the points a little if you need to. So, so this whole curve could start later here as well. You can add some points here as well and can move them. So if you need to, you can set up quite a few points here. So now this is getting a little messy. So if it's getting messy, you just press reset. You're done. Okay. So um, actually, I think most of the time you're just going to use this part here only and then you should be fine okay so this is part uh, this max for life device is part of a full set of um, max for life devices all about uh, triggering drums inside of ableton live from electronic midi controllers aka electronic drum pads um, like the sx or the sx pro or even uh, electronic uh, full electronic drum kits which have a MIDI output so you can plug this into your computer and play sounds and not only sounds in Ableton Live. Okay, so you can get this Max for Life device as part of a pack. Just follow the links in the video description. Max for Life devices will require Max for Life, which is included in Ableton Live Suite or can be bought towards Ableton Live Standard. And you can always get the free three months free trial from Ableton Suite um, to check out if that stuff is for you or not. Okay, take care and have fun drumming. Bye bye.